Hi, today we are going to be talking about the different oils that we use here in the Nourishing Plate Kitchen and why we use these particular oils and what the health benefits are and applications and basically, you know, what to do with the different ones that we have here. So the three oils that we use in the kitchen is avocado oil, coconut oil, and then oleogold olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. And the reason we love these oils is because they each have tons of health benefits and they're all very good for you in different ways. So what we love about avocado oil, and the reason we use this in all of our sauteing and our roasting is because it has a very high smoke point, a smoke point about 500 to 520 degrees, uh, depending on the source of where you're looking for that. So and what that means is, and what the smoke point generally is, is the smoke point is when an oil at that point essentially burns. So now you're getting a rancid fat. It's um, It starts smoking. It's now burnt. It's going to impart a burnt flavor. At that point, you have to throw the dish out uh, because it's going to be, not only you're getting damaged fats, but it's going to wreck the taste of whatever it was that you are cooking. So you do want to make sure you know the smoke point of an oil when you're determining how you're going to use it in the kitchen. So this is why we do our roasting with our avocado oil. We do our sauteing with avocado oil, et cetera. And the health benefits are um, a lot with this. It's monounsaturated fat, which has been shown to have anti-inflammatory benefits. It's great for our heart health because it can help lower the bad cholesterol, increase the the higher, the good HDL cholesterol. This also has lutein and vitamin E in it. So lutein for our eyes. Um, it's great. I actually use this. Um, you can use it in your hair, in your skin. Um, so avocado oil is just really wonderful. Um, and you can use it in the higher temperature applications that you might be using. The other thing we use is coconut oil. And what we do, this has a smoke point of around 350 degrees. So you can go up to, you know, sort of close to that. You could possibly use it in um, sauteing if it's on kipping on a lower heat. But what's great about coconut oil is it has medium chain fatty acids, also has short chain and medium chain fatty acids. And what's so great about these are they help your gut and they get directly absorbed into your liver. So that's why they are a quick energy source. You hear a lot of the MCTs um, going on now with a keto diet because they are used for fat burning. They go straight from the liver into and are more readily into ketones, um, which also they're looking into now with brain health, with Alzheimer's, dementia. They're actually doing a research down at UC and looking at the ketogenic diet with brain cancer as well. A lot of people also use this in athletics uh, when you want to have quick energy. So the medium chain uh, fatty acids are going to be converted to energy really quickly. They don't have to be um, shuttled through the body like a long chain fatty fatty acid would be. The other thing is also too, it has antimicrobial and antifungal properties. They actually looked at it in vitro against the HIV virus. So it has antiviral um, compounds. So if you're ever feeling like you're sick or um, you've got something going on fungus wise, et cetera, coconut oil is also a good, um, good source for, very good for that. Then our third one, and we love the Olea Gold olive oil here because this is organic, it's cold pressed, it has a multitude of polyphenols and phytochemicals. Um, it just, it has a lot of benefit. And what these phytochemicals and these phytonutrients do, they help reduce inflammation. They help the heart disease. And inflammation is such a problem in developing into chronic diseases. We're seeing now that so many of our chronic diseases are really based on this this low-term, long-term inflammation. So anything you can do to reduce that inflammation is a wonderful thing. All these oils have anti-inflammatory properties. This is why we just love them. In addition, um, now this smoke point is lower. It's about, th depending on where you look, 300 to 320. And then if you get, talk about the more refined virgin oils, um, well, virgin oils, olive oils, I should say, um, they would be going up to like 420. Those are the lighter ones you see. They're very light green, um, almost a yellow, but this is a first pressed extra virgin olive oil. We tend to use this only in raw applications, salad dressings, drizzling it on the vegetables after they've been roasted, even eating it by the teaspoonful, because again, you're getting all those benefits. Um, in particular, there's oleuropin, uh, which actually prevents the bad cholesterol from oxidizing. So that's why these um, phytonutrients and 
pyridoquine polyphenols have an antioxidant component to them. So they really do protect our RNA, our DNA from damage. They have anti-cancer properties, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, et cetera. So all these three oils are what we choose to use uh, for very, various um, applications in our kitchen. And we hope that, um, you know, that you enjoy this and um, you know, put them to good use in your kitchen along with the health benefits.